Hey guys, welcome back to another Mikey Two Hands video. Today we're going to be showing you how to replace your e-bike brakes with a cutoff sensor switch that you can buy from eBay for 17 bucks. So stick with me and I'll show you how. Okay, so these are the uh, brakes that you get with your e-bike kit. And uh, as you can see, they're massive. They're really long uh, and clunky. So I want to use the brakes that are already on my bike and reduce having to run another cable back to the controller. So as you can see inside these brakes that you get with the kit, there's a little sensor switch that cuts out the motor once you pull the brake lever. But we're going to replace that with the $17 bit of kit you can get from eBay and what you're looking for is a brake cutoff sensor switch. So I'm going to use the uh, little tag that came with my e-bike battery. Uh, so attached to the keys that come with your battery is a little metal tag on mine at least. If you don't have this on yours you'll have to find another little piece of metal to use uh, for this step. So now you can see I've got the sensor stuck on uh, to my frame uh, right next to the brake cable and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bend that little tag in half or almost in half and uh, I'm going to clamp it down to the brake cable so once I pull the uh, the brake lever it'll pull that cable along and uh, and slide the magnet away from that sensor and that will cut out the uh, the motor from the e-bike so the first step is just to release that brake cable and uh, slide that through so you've got a bit of extra cable to play with now put your uh, piece of metal in the marked position uh, right next to the sensor and what I've used is just a crimping tool uh, from the cable pliers. Uh, if you don't have one of these, you can just use a normal set of pliers and just squeeze that bit of metal down around the brake cable uh, so it's really stuck on there and uh, when you pull the cable, it'll move along with it. Uh, so once you've got that uh, done, you can reattach your brakes and uh, then stick on the magnet, the little circular magnet that you can see now on top of that bit of metal and that's right next to the sensor. So when I pull a brake cable, It'll uh, move that magnet away from the sensor and that will cut out the uh, motor for the engine. So when you pull the brakes, you don't have the wheel turning at the same time. And that will work perfectly. And then with the little um, cable, I've just shortened that up because it comes with quite a long cable in the kit. Uh, so just cutting those cables and rejoining them to shorten that wire. And as you can see, it comes with an exact uh, same plug that you're going to need uh, to connect into your uh, one of your brake lever cables onto your control box. So as you can see, the sensor's tucked up under the seat there and out of the way, and the cable run back to the control box is really short. And this has reduced the need to A, have to install those clunky brake levers and B have to run two extra cables back to the uh, control box. So if you like this uh, video please like and subscribe and check out my full uh, video on my electric bike build and we'll catch you next time. Cheers!